Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, only on SABC3. Thank you for joining us throughout this uh, Tuesday morning. Right now, time for our health talks here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, with summer on its way, everyone is jumping back onto the health train, headed straight for the sunny beaches, of course. But often, when we're trying to reach certain health goals, we are held back by our bodies. Why do certain bodies store fat in different ways? And how can we actually really improve our metabolism? So joining us today is uh, endocrinologist Dr. Zane Stevens to uh, dispel some of the myths and share some advice. Now, if you have any questions, of course, you can also phone us if you have any questions wanting to ask around metabolism uh, specifically. Our number 083-913-3728. That's 083-913-3728. Dr. Zane, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I love this topic. I think whenever you know people set out on a health journey, health goal, I mean, there's talks around metabolism. It always comes up. But what does it actually mean to have a fast metabolism and what causes some some people to have faster metabolisms than others. Yes, that can be very frustrating for people. So if you just think about what a metabolism is, really it's the way that our body uses energy in, okay. in a nutshell. And sort of 60% of our, our metabolism is really our basal metabolic rate. So sort of in between meals, we're still requiring energy sources for our heart to beat, we need to breathe, we need to move around. And so about 60% of the energy that we use is used for those functions. Okay. Another sort of 10%, interestingly, is used to metabolize food, the food that we take in. And then the remaining 30% is really the sort of voluntary activity that we partake in during the daytime. So the largest part is something that we don't have a lot of control over, actually. Yeah. And that is largely genetically determined, unfortunately. Yeah. It's also affected by your body size. So the yeah. more lean uh, muscle mass that you have, the sort of so-called faster your metabolism may be. Yeah. But interestingly enough, a lot of people come to me come, kind of saying, but doctor, I eat nothing and I just can't lose weight. There must be something wrong with my metabolism. And actually, if you really were to do sophisticated tests of your basal metabolic function, which they can do in sort of university laboratories, when you're really overweight, if you think about it, your body's got to actually work harder. Your yeah. heart takes more energy to beat. Your lungs take more energy to breathe. So actually, the basal metabolic rate may actually be higher in somebody who's overweight than somebody who's not so, oh, not really? so overweight. So unfortunately, that part, that 60%, which is a large amount, yeah. we've got quite little control over. I see. So is there anything that I mean, you can do um, to, to kind of other, you know, especially if we're taking a look at a health or a weight loss journey to, to, to manipulate your, your metabolism? Um, so, so a lot of research has been going in, obviously, into the diet component. Okay. But I was really fortunate last week. I was in Munich at a large conference in, in looking at diabetes. And there was an outstanding lecture by a guy looking at the impact of exercise on our metabolism. And for a long time, we've kind of sort of said, well, you need to exercise to such an extreme to really mm. lose weight. Is that really where we should be sort of putting our money in terms of yeah. research? But what he was able to show was certainly cumulative exercise has a very positive effect on what we refer to as mitochondrial function. So that's the part of the cell that really helps to generate energy. And wow. so I think that... So the World Health Organization really has taken on this thing about sitting is really unhealthy for us, unfortunately, as we're doing here. Yeah. And it's what most of us do throughout the day. Yes. So we really need to be making ourselves move more. And so, we're not talking about kind of extreme yeah. athletes. Just being active. Just being active. Just being active. I love it. Well, this is really a big topic. We can continue with it with uh, Dr. Zane throughout the course of the, the next couple of minutes as well. Um, but if you have any questions around metabolism, please phone us. 83 913 We're also going to be unpacking your thyroid and also various body types and see how you can best lose weight and be ready for summer.